So we're gonna try to do this quick here, uh, <laughs> as quick as we can. And the other, other video ended up being like 22 minutes long or something ridiculous, but this is just a quick uh, kind of explanation of how it can be kind of a pain in the neck to do this uh, scissor truss modification here. So uh, two foot on center trusses here. We take out these three, that gives us eight foot from that one to that one. I can only do that because that one's been holding up the garage door track and that one's holding up the garage door track. But most stuff I have is over eight feet wide. And, that, and honestly, the lift I have, I can't put something over eight feet wide on it anyway, I don't think. But So yeah, anyway, just to get the roof of the truck or roof of the car up there, it'd be fine. But So we have a... Uh, 30 foot and then 72 long ways. But anyway, so I'm guessing, you know, somewhere around 15 feet from center out, 10 foot ceiling here, and then eight feet up to the peak. And it's like, well, <laughs> uh, kind of step ladder. Can we get 18 foot step ladder or 16 foot step ladder? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> don't want to spend the money on that. And yeah. Can I get a two by six to span from there to there? Yeah, I get a 20 footer and it's going to be probably every foot of that every every bit of that 20 footer just as much so um have to take out the uh insulation blockers i forget the technical name for those but uh take those few out on that end and this end obviously and see what we can get going here uh like i'm all gung-ho about doing it and want to do it until I get up there and it's like, uh, this is kind of high up. And I never used to be bothered by heights before. I don't know what it is now, but like I get up there and I'm kind of like, oh man, <laughs> whoa. Kind of kind of start, kind of get frozen. Like, oh man, I don't want to move. I don't know. I have some spare sheets of OSB. I could throw them across, throw a couple screws in them just to, you know, hold them in place. And then take a step ladder up there, like a five foot step ladder or something. And, Mark off some stuff and then measure. And I need to get, you know, one or two more people. I need to get one or two people to help me, but I don't know. There's there's a company around the corner from me called Miller's Garage Door. And I forget what all, I forget the whole name of their company, but literally 10 minutes up the road around the corner. I got a, I got a requisition. I got a request for a quote for them to install garage door openers. Going to do, you know, overhead here side mount here for the, where the lift is and then overhead overhead need new door seals and you know do tune up tighten the springs grease the track what, whatever you know and then i asked them they they, they build pole barns pole buildings uh, anything i mean they they custom build stuff they do decks and porches and so if they're if they're into building an entire building i mean i guess they probably don't design the trusses maybe i don't know they probably just say oh you want to do this size by this size and then they figure out what size truss they need and they probably just buy prefab trusses i don't know but yeah i think it wouldn't be wouldn't be too bad but it just like i said i need at least one more person probably two or three people i don't know me my brother said he might help my buddy josh my old from a neighbor from my old house he said he'd come help uh, i'm sure maybe i get mike down here over here to help who knows but uh, it's just a monumental task, dude. I don't know. I do not know. Man, that's such a such a span, such a space. But we'll see. We'll see what they come back with if if they can do it. Yeah. Basically, I mean, I don't. If they don't do two by six, like I'm thinking, just two by six down. Or, you know, drop down from the center piece and then do a horizontal tie piece. You know, so vertical down from the peak in between the two by sixes and then horizontal to tie those together. Whatever, you know, time to the... Yeah, whatever. We'll see. Now, I know, you know, we've... There's a... For anyone watching this who isn't up to what's going on, and this is just like a follow-up to a question I posed to another channel... Uh, is it Eurosmith? Am I saying your name right? I hope so. I mean, 
Call me out. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I mean, I, I'd assume that's, that's how you're saying it, man. But, uh, I, I like how you followed uh, Enigma Engineering. I, I saw their thing, I don't know, last year sometime. I forget when I first saw them, but I was thinking about reaching out to them, having them try to do some calcs for me just because I don't want to trudge through all that stuff. And, you know, they've done it once. They've got everything set up. It'd be easier just to plug my numbers in for everything. But So if anybody's looking to do some truss redesign, those guys from Enigma Engineering, they had a pretty cool video. You know, like I said, this video you know, I'm posting just to show for Eurosmith, you know. I don't know. Uh, it's pretty high. Pretty high. Well, you know, you stand up there and it's like, oh, it's not bad. Then you get way, way up there. And you're like, oh, uh, <laughs> kind of weirded out right now. I don't know. Or maybe it's just the fact that you take this, uh, take this ladder flip it out to extension ladder and extend it all the way out and you're climbing all the way up there and it's 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 got it's got joints in it so it's like leaning over a little bit and then it's leaning up against the raft the horizontal part of the raft or the, or the truss there it's like oh man but yeah we'll see we'll see what this company comes back with and you know if i like what they're gonna do and if they're confident in it and they can do it for a good price. I'll just say, hey, have at it. Local business, support you guys, cool. I don't, I don't mind doing stuff myself. I mean, if you saw the other video, I was talking about moving out here and wiring up the shop for that to go out to like a little goat shed and this for a welder and power for the lift and all that. And running air, running power lines, putting up new lights, taking out old lights, putting in outlets for garage door openers, moving switches. I mean, it's... I'm no stranger to hard work and doing projects and whatnot. Now, what else did we do? Painted, painted all the doors in the house and some massive project, uh, remodeling bathrooms and stuff and all kinds of stuff. Here's the junk pile. But all right, we'll get we'll end this one quick here. And uh, this is more than anybody wanted to see or wanted to watch. It's not as bad as the other one. This is about third as much as the other one was. Got any suggestions or ideas? Let me know. Thanks.